प्रिय विद्यार्थियों वेलकम अगेन टू आवर क्लास दिस क्लास इज फॉर बी ए पार्ट फर्स्ट पेपर फर्स्ट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट गो एंड कैच ए फॉलिंग स्टार बाय जो डन अबाउट द ऑथर एंड अबाउट द पोएम इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट लाइन टू लाइन एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दिस पोएम गो एंड कैच ए फॉलिंग स्टार बिफोर स्टार्टिंग एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दिस पोएम फर्स्ट वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट द पोएम द पोएम एक्सप्लोर्स ए ट्रेडिशनल लिटरेरी थीम ऑफ डंस एरा वुमेन्स रोमेंटिक इन फिडियलिटी using vivid images of magic and mystery the speaker insist that a faithful woman is so hard to find she might as well as be the stuff of legends the speaker begins by commanding his listener to perform a series of impossible task with the implication being that female honesty for faithfulness is the same dream of impossibility some of the speaker's task sound like they are right out out of a fairy tale impregnating a mandrax root listening to mermaids singing and investigating the devil's food these images all have transgressive or sexual connotations the other task the speaker commands are more abstract and wistful seeing past years suggest a longing for lost time while preventing envy's stinging makes the reader suspect that the speaker might have had some painful romantic disappointments looking in those vanished years the final lines asking the listener to find what wind serves to advance an honest mind punches the point home rewards for faithful are as hard to find as any legendary creature expanding on this idea the speaker says that even if his listener spent an entire lifetime searching for a faithful woman he wouldn't find her he imagines the listener on a visionary quest creating a sense that the impossibilities of the first stanza might just be found somewhere the speaker also imagines his listeners that has the power to see strange sides here the musical things of the first stanza are presented as just within the dream of possibility a gifted person might be able to find them however he will still never to find a faithful woman this makes women's fidelity even more legendary than a mere maid the speaker concludes by imagining that even if his listener did find a faithful woman that women's faithful ness would never would never last the speaker wouldn't bother going to see this hypothetical woman even if she were even if she were next door because while she might have been faithful when the friend met her she would be faith unfaithful before the speaker could reach the final stanza thus moves from the magical uncertainty of the 
earlier part of the poem when after all there is some chance that one might see the invisible to an earthly cynicism the wistful romance of pilgrimage falling stars the magical quest is broken by the speaker's grim belief belief no one no one will ever find a woman true and fair now we will explain line to line analysis of this poem go and catch a falling star first the first lines go and catch a falling star get with child a mendrix root tell me where all past years are or who cleft the devil's foot these are the opening lines of duns poem go and catch a falling star the poet shows his distrust for women he believes that a woman who is beautiful can never be faithful to her lover or husband here the poet produces a list of impossible things it is impossible to catch a falling star it is equally impossible to produce a human body from the root of mandrax plant which resembles the human shape no one can show where the past years have gone there is no one in the world who can tell the name of the person who split the foot of satan it is also not possible to hear the song of the mermaids no one can change human nature so as not to feel the pain of envy or to find jealousy out of the reason which make a man honest just as these images are these things are impossible so also a fair and faithful woman is impossible in the next line he talks then the poet expresses his great distrust towards the fair sex he believes that a beautiful woman can never be a faithful beloved the poet says that a man who is born with the power to see strange rites and even invisible objects and if he rides 10000 days and nights and travel all over the world till his ha- hair turn gray he will see wonderful sights after the completion of his journey he will return home he will tell all the stories of his great adventures and wonderful scenes he has been but he will not be able to give a simple example of a beautiful and faithful woman he had seen or heard he means to say that to meet a true and faithful lady is impossible in the cur- concluding lines the poet says that to come across a fair and content- constant woman is more impossible than the greatest known impossibilities so in the concluding lines he says that even if perchance the com- one comes across a woman true and fair she will soon become false and faithless the poet says that even if perchance one accrums a woman true and fair before one would write the second or third letter to her she is bound to false and faithless to see 
a true and faithful woman would be wonderful and one would undertake a pilgrimage for that but it would to use less it would be useless since by the time the pilgrimage reaches the destination the virtuous woman would have turned false so in the unique ironical reversal in his last stanza is a device commonly used by dun all his journey and trouble in finding a true and faithful woman would result in love's labor lost so this is the line to line explanation explanation of the poem go and catch a falling star in the next video we will discuss a critical summary of the poem go and catch a falling star hope you enjoyed this video and understand the poem very well